In this video, we're going to continue with step five, the Horatio effect, okay? Because you're still asking intelligent questions. I call this next section in their own words. Why is that? Because when, some, when you ask somebody a question and they give you an answer, okay, and you're asking intelligent questions, that's going to lead them down a particular path, a particular path where you're going to be waiting with your product or service, okay? So let's take a look at how this works. So you might ask a, a, a prospect, what's most important to you when choosing a, and put in your product or service? What's most important to you when choosing a product or service? Okay, so what's great about that is now they're thinking. And by the way, is that an expansive question or an arrow question? Expansive, because it's not a yes or no answer, right? So you wanna get that information. What's most important to you, okay? Now, they might tell you A, B, and C, okay? So you write down A first, the first thing they tell you, then you write down the B, then you write down the C. Why is that? Why would you write that down in the exact order of that they give you that criteria? Because that's how their brains are functioning. So subconsciously or consciously to them, the first thing they tell you, typically nine, out of time, nine times out of 10 is the thing that's most important to them, or at least top of mind, okay? Then the, you write down the second thing they told you. Then you write down the third thing, the fourth thing, et cetera. Okay, now this part is crucial. Once you get it down, you can't just move on to the next piece. First of all, you have to repeat the exact criteria in the order that they gave it to you back to the prospect. Why is that important? Because you wanna give them the opportunity to change any of this. Maybe something was top of mind, but something else is most important, okay? Or maybe they told you the wrong thing in the wrong way, right? Sometimes your client, you will read it back to them, exactly what they said, and the client will go, well, that's not exactly what I mean. What I really mean is X, Y, and Z, because you want absolute clarity before you go into your presentation, okay? So this is at the very front end of this presentation when you're asking all these questions, okay? So in their own words, ask, what's most important to you when choosing a training company? In my, in my example, right? I'll write down exactly what they want. Okay, they wanna make sure that it's fun and, and uh, engaging, right? They, clients tell me all the time, I wanna make sure that I get the actual results, whatever, whatever that is, percent of increase, a, a dollar amount, whatever it is, I wanna make sure I get the results. Number three, they always tell me, I wanna make sure it's a lasting change. It's something that's not just a flash in the pan, right? Good, so now I know exactly what's important. In my presentation, am I going to address all three of those things? Absolutely, and I know that the first thing they told me is typically what's on top of mind or the most important, okay? And then I'm gonna repeat the exact criteria in that order back to the prospect. Now I'm armed and ready to continue with my presentation. Make sense? Good, you got this. I'll see you in the next video.